as he is. Why? Look, the fact it was easy to you, so precocious. That Do you think it's his holy grail to be seen as the number one fighter in the sport? Yeah, let me make the case that it is. Well, he watched all the hard work that Ronnie Shields did. And already the pressure from Diaz begins. Good straight left hand by Diaz in the face of Diaz's aggression. Diaz showing respect, but ripping Marquez with another left hook. Three body shots from Marquez. A lot of fights between a younger and older fighter. To hit Marquez for the most part. I thought, I, I thought this. What a big left hook by Diaz. Marquez trying to fire back. But now the pace slows a little bit in the second round as Marquez beats Emmanuel. Yes, and I don't think he's going to do that. And the way that Diaz is punching, he's got his head down more where he's getting strength. Big left hook. Staggers Marquez. Marquez in trouble. If you wanted to find a comparison for what round one looked like, and more than 30 punches in the round. Big left hook by Diaz. Straight right hand by Marquez. Diaz jabbing and hunting. Marquez going to the body and coming still, basically playing Diaz's game. The diving board all at once. But he's looked really good in the first couple rounds against a guy who's looked just a time stopping Diaz in his tracks. And tracks they are. As Juan Stolt this is the Juan Diaz that had the boxing world buzzing before his loss to Nate Campbell. This time, I saw three judges score a fight draw. Very, very rare. Back to this fight. Juan Diaz led the more clean sets. Just like the going right there. Three to nothing, Diaz. You know, kid, I mean, Diaz throwing the hook and he's a block it and shoot his counter hook at the exact same time. And he gets maximum level. He hunches his body forward in a Joe Frazier type style. Clean, effective combination, particularly at the end of the round. Diaz is trying to find able to establish. <laughs> Diaz again. Now Marquez will look to the left side. Straight right hand down the pipe. On our competing, a competitor network, Showtime. One difference. Good left hook by Diaz again. Marquez has been cut in that same spot before. Another fight. Another bad eye. There, Diaz got in a solid body shot against the... And that's a sign of a very intelligent fighter. Left hook, left hook, back into the ropes. <laughs> Diaz eats a hard right hand. Last day off them ropes. When he goes on the ropes, Juan Diaz just pummels him like you're watching right here. When the fight goes into aggressiveness and, yeah, and using his size by going up on a rope. Them to correct. Ronnie hadn't had the sure. Marquez has fought a bit with his mouth open since the third round. Uh, the... Two straight right hands by Marquez. Two more big left touch, but he listened to Ronnie between rounds. He's Bill Cotto and Kelly Pavlik. Now this, economic conditions. Ah. From the left uppercut from Marquez, which has been maybe his most effective punch. Along with the straight rounds. You know, Marquez is fighting for the pride of his country. You know, even though they're both supposed to be Mexican, but as he considers Diaz a half Mexican, he's American Mexican. Marquez. Well, we told you how Marquez adjusts and yep, comes Mar on. Oh, and he's Diaz. Diaz. Diaz got caught with a left hook. Trouble, but I don't know if Diaz can help that, because he has not had that type of experience. And he's the more accurate puncher. And it's adjustment Marquez made, Emmanuel, in about the yeah. third or fourth round to five, so personable. They're taunting each other in the ring. The yeah. <laughs> this pace over the course of the fight. 
hometown. And he's supposedly the stronger man. And he's he hurt. A huge uppercut. Down go to fighting. A smash fight would probably clinch, but I don't think that's what he's going to do. And look at Marquez go to the body. Look at him go to the body to try to set up the finish. Absolutely. And you're pound for pound number one. Maybe. Marquez. Just Dinamita!